just a really cool little area. I feel like I'm in Japan right here, which I am, so that makes sense. I didn't even realize this, but this city is where the 98 Olympics was. So at Nagano, I think people probably pronounce it wrong, but it's Nagano. Maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, who knows? But still kind of cool. This is where the 1998 Olympics was. And then in 2020, it's gonna be in Tokyo. So kind of cool. Now just a quick train ride to the temple. Well, first train ride, then a walk that's like 20 minutes, then we get to the temple, so. What is that? All right, we're going to the temple. We'll get some snacks. Hey, starters. Great, another microphone issue. This will come up a lot. Just for the record, I'm probably saying some really profound things right now like next level world changing things not the art. oh look snow it's monkeys snow it's snowing i don't know where the snow's coming from because it's clear okay maybe not i guess it looks like we're we were heading in the wrong direction so now we have to turn around and go in the right direction Luckily, it's only been two hours of walking, so we should be good. No, I'm just kidding. It's only been a few minutes. We should have looked at the sign. Probably would have helped a lot. Oh well. All right, these steps are pretty high and pretty steep. So hopefully we're going the right way <laughs> or all this work would be tiresome for the wrong place. Yeah. All right, so we're on our way to the temple, but we saw this real quick and we wanted to stop by and show you guys. The travel isn't always about the destination. Sometimes it's about the hidden gems we find along, along the, the way. way. Without worrying about the views, the subscribes, the likes, but just for the moment to find our own hidden gems. So we leave this hidden gem for another to find. Let's just go in front and just look at this real quick in the front and then we'll go back to our journey to the temple, which you can hear in the distance. Alright, so uh, we actually were not allowed to film inside, so I had to stop the video. The buildings around here and the architecture is really awesome. Um, if you're in the city and you're doing the snow monkeys, maybe you want to stop by here and check this out also. Maybe not. Uh, it's really up to you. The temple is just down that way. And this is the street that we're walking down. to lots of different shops, stuff to buy, and of course, Food to eat. 
<laughs> Very hard. Thank you. Not sure what it's called. But this is the traditional thing for Nagano. It's a bun with uh, this. I got the red bean. They have vegetables. Look at all that steam coming up. So this is our traditional dish here. Yeah. This is the specialty for Nagano. It's. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the outside is. It's like a breading with red bean paste inside. Uh, oh, it's like a bao. Like a chashu bao outside. All I got was bread. Hmm. That's red bean paste inside. That's ah, good. Sweet. The breading's a little bit sweet too. 180 yen, which is about a dollar eighty. It's not cheap, but not bad. It's really hot. Oh, what? It's like a... So what is this? It's a mochi, but it looks like an apple. That is awesome. It's a little bit different outer, but the inner is the same bean. It's a white bean. Mm. It's, they're good though, but... This city is known for the apples, so... That's why there's so many different apple flavored stuff. Pretty cool. Maybe we'll have to try something since we're here. Say hi! <laughs> Alright, so I decided to buy one of these. Um, it's in this box. So we'll eat it when we get back to the room. Because uh, we're going to have real food right now. But, but what did you get, bud? It's a little apple mochi. It uh, doesn't have the filling. It's just going to be like a chewy part of the part, but apple flavor. So okay. There's cool. like a bunch of So we'll try these out. Cool. Yeah, that's good. All right. So since Nagano is known for their apples, I decided to wait in this really long line for some apple pie. I'm really excited to try it because there is a long line. Hopefully, everybody knows what they're doing. Either way, it smells amazing. Okay, so I'm going to try the freshly baked custard apple pie known as the Benta Benta, or Benti Benti. Um, not really sure if I'm saying it right, but it looks amazing. I'm excited. This is a long line, but I'm sure it's gonna be worth it. Okay. All right, so I got one. They were right. It's very hot. Very, very hot. It's really good. It just <coughs> really good. It's really good. It's just the powder and the hotness got me steaming hot. Steaming hot. Really, really good. Um, it's got chunks of apples in it with custard in the middle if you look inside you can see now we're gonna go get something to eat some real food this is a really cool place uh but but there's one thing to remember um that we surprisingly found out is that everything seems to be closed at 5 p.m all the food places that we're walking past are all closed and the street is almost like dead there's there's nothing out here look if you're coming out here, just remember that 5 p.m. most of the food places are closed, so eat before. Don't get the apple pie and wait in the long line and make your buddy that you're traveling with a little upset at you because <laughs> because you decided to have apple pie instead of real dinner. So <laughs> just a note, all right? Not really a fan of crowds, but I always have. My hidden gem. <laughs> 